Good day, I'm Mono Smith. Um, I'm Operations Manager at Fertis Furniture Manufacturing. Uh, we are a company situated in Naisna, South Africa, and we specialize in the manufacture of indigenous timber from the Naisna area, as well as a bit more mass production section where we manufacture outdoor furniture uh, made from eucalyptus grown in this area as well. Fertis was established in 1936. Um, it's most probably the oldest uh, furniture manufacturing company in this area. Um, it was started by a, a gentleman called George Verte. Um, he was taught woodworking at school, grew a passion for woodworking and that evolved into a business eventually. The designs that we make uh, stems back from, from our tradition of making uh, uh, Cape Dutch style furniture. Uh, it's a style that Bros brought over to South Africa from Holland uh, with the uh, Dutch settlers that, that came into South Africa. Uh, this the style remained quite popular, I would say, up until the mid-80s uh, when trends in South Africa also started to change a bit more with regards to furniture design. Uh, although Cape Dutch style furniture still makes out a good portion of our business, uh, styles have changed quite a bit over the years. And we've also started adapting a bit more to uh, contemporary styles as well. What we're trying to do in terms of our signature with our products is to try and incorporate a Cape Dutch style with it but also retain or, or incorporating a bit more of a modern uh, style to it as well. Uh, in terms of our outdoor furniture, uh, that's a range that was developed in the early 90s. What was also a bit more of a, a classic style if I can, can, can say so. Um, which served us very well over the years, but we also picked up a trend for more contemporary designs. So since uh, about five years ago, we started introducing a new range called the All Seasons range, which is a lot more contemporary, uh, less curves to it, less detail, but more straight, uh, clean contemporary lines, which has also been picked up very well in our, in, in our local market as well. Our trademark in, in the timber industry is the fact that we are still manufacturing custom-made furniture. It's our speciality. Um, we manufacture most of our products on, on a bespoke basis. Um, and we're coupled with that is making furniture but still uh, using time-honored techniques. Uh, we will typically make uh, drawers and still put in dovetail joints in drawers, which many of the mass manufacturers these days tend not to do anymore. So yeah, I think our, our main uh, uh, objective is, is to provide good quality furniture uh, in time-honored techniques um, and, and, and offer very good quality as well. Uh, training is an integral part of our business. Um, it's becoming a bit more of a problem these days to find young people that still wants to work in factories. But I think once we find a suitable person and they realize the joy from, from being able to, to, to be a good quality skilled craftsman, they do tend uh, to, to stay within the industry. And we have an indoor training program whereby we take young guys uh, teach them the techniques and, and yeah, really train them up to be really, really good quality um, a, a skilled craftsmen at the end of the day. Fertis is part of the Nice Timber Initiative, an initiative that was started uh, towards the beginning of, of last year. The main aim of the initiative is really to revitalize the, the timber industry in the area. Um, Nysna historically was known for being um, the timber hub, if I can put it that way, in South Africa. And a, a large portion of the industry and, and economy of the town was, was, was built around um, uh, the timber industry. Unfortunately, through the years, um, the industry has lost a, a bit of its momentum. Uh, tourism became a bigger part of, of the economy in Nysna. But we still have so much skill and so much uh, companies around here that, that, that still operate within the timber industry and still does an exceptional job in this area that we really felt that we need to get something going to put the word out there and that people still recognize Nasna just as much as a timber town as much as a tourism town. Uh, our involvement with the timber festival stemmed from the very first uh, meetings when uh, Vermont Sales uh, contacted the Nysna Timber Initiative with the idea of hosting a, a, a festival in Nysna. Um, we immediately saw the potential into hosting such an event and was actually quite excited about uh, having something like this. 
the festival slots very nicely into our whole initiative of reviving the timber industry as well and actually puts out a very nice platform for nice companies to market collectively uh, at a festival like this and also for uh, suppliers of equipment and technology to showcase their wares at a festival like this uh, where it can be picked up by other guys in the industry and as well as the obvious at home.